Boom! Greetings, gentle sentients! Last Outrider here, bringing you a new series. Who are the Cult Mechanicus? Let us begin with the Priesthood of Mars. Through the darkening twilight come the Cult Mechanicus. Their exhaust fumes tinged with incense, and their voices raised in sinister prayer. This is no regimented military force, nor a benevolent gathering of holy people, but a procession of cybernetic horrors and soulless automatons. Each of their number has willingly traded away their humanity fashioned as a living weapon in the hands of his inhuman masters. The cult Mechanicus brings not forgiveness, nor mercy, nor a chance for conversion to their creed. Instead, they bring death. A thousand different kinds, each measured and recorded for later assimilation. Perhaps these are the kinds of priests the Imperium needs most. For humanity teeters on the brink of disaster. Together, the tech priests command enough firepower to drive back the night forever. They extend the iron grip of the Omnissia wherever they go, illuminating the dark corners of the galaxy with his white-hot enlightenment. It is a light they wield not as a giver of life, but as a weapon, a killing blaze that burns uncertainty from the universe and replaces it with a cold and terrible logic. Their enemies are those who would keep the treasures of the galaxy from the Forge worlds where they belong. Those who truck with unhallowed machines, and those who keep the cult Mechanicus from their holy cause for even a moment. These infidels are slain without mercy. And so, the possession of machines from world to world, the haunted skies above strobing white with colossal energy discharge, the lightning leaps from the outstretched hands of the faithful, burning the unbeliever to ash wherever he may hide. Arcane cannons flatten and twist the foe as if their unworthy bodies were being wrought unto ruin by the Omnissia itself. Blasts of barely harnessed energy shoot like miniature suns from track-driven war machines, and volleys of blinding white phosphor crackle and spit as they burn through armor and into the flesh beneath. Those who launch, at last, a desperate assault in the face of this inhuman firepower are met by looming battle automata, each brutish metal giant given a semblance of life with simple commands to conquer, to burn, and to crush. But be they gunslave, lordly cyborg, or soulless death machines, the disciples of the machine god march on without rest united in unshakable faith, armed and armored with the most advanced technology in the Imperium. They are a nigh unstoppable force. Every shot fired, every syllable incanted 
is tailored to a singular purpose to further the domination of the machine god even should it mean the extermination of everything that stands in the way now that is some cool stuff because there are some very very little important tidbits in this fluff first of all uh, you notice they said they have the power to push back the night forever. So, right now they're saying that the priesthood of Mars is the most powerful force in the galaxy. Sorry, Chaos players. These guys could march into the Eye of Terror itself and blind it. And... If you've watched my other videos about the Skitari, uh, especially about the one about the Machine God, it's a very interesting point that the Machine God is not the Emperor. The Emperor is the Omnissiah, the first prophet of the Machine God. But the Machine God is something else above him that is a huge distinction because everybody else in the mid imperium is worshiping the emperor himself as a god but the cult mechanicus worship the machine god and the emperor is merely the first priest of the machine god and that is a huge huge distinction which would show you the the schism between the cult mechanicus and the imperium itself this is an entirely different culture different from the imperium it is completely set apart and it carries as they said the most complex firepower the imperium has to offer and they don't sleep they don't rest, they don't stop, they, they, they number in their uncounted trillions. Even the Skitari measure, in measure. Uh, yeah, I think they said in their trillions. And this is the Cult Mechanicus, which is added to the Skitari, which I can assume there's even more of them. So you combine that together... And the cult mechanicus, along with the Skitari and the priesthoods of Mars, outnumber the Imperium itself. They could squash all space marines. They could take over anything. This is it. The way I see it now, they are building the most powerful, the, the superpower of the galaxy. These are the people who conquered the million worlds of the Imperium. Not the Imperial Guard, not the Astarte, not the Ecclesiarchy or anything like that. These, it's the Cult Mechanicum and Mars who has conquered all of the space of the Imperium. Which means that the Imperial worlds are actually a small fraction of the Imperium itself and the vast number of Imperial worlds are actually cult mechanicus worlds or at least worlds that have been scoured clean of all life by the cult mechanicus and the Skitari and that is a huge addition to the 40k fluff which I don't think is added by accident so until next time, we'll be going on to, let me see, let me see, uh-huh, the Cult Mechanicus. Okay, so now I told you about the Priesthood of Mars, and next I'm going to get about the Cult Mechanicus itself. I don't know what the distinction is yet, but you will find out next time. Until then, bye. <laughs>